Alright, what is up guys? As always, welcome back to the Ubers games with your truly this character. Or it's not that much Ubers. Gengar and Ladios, while overly powerful, um, I guess I can give that a pass. And this is where I cut, right? Starts off with... Yeah, looks about right. Kind of have to assume this is a weakness policy. Or not weakness policy, I mean sashed. Uh, interpretation of Cloisa. Um Volt Switch is my easy play. I like if I'm just thinking if um, if Paolo comes in, I still kind of don't mind it, right? Brings in, yeah. I have no reason not to make any other play but Volt Switch. So, that said, I need to find a way to get my rocks up. Um, Hutter Pump's here. I think he can switch in his Latios if he wants to. Just decide to stand, which is great for me. It's gonna sting. Oof. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. That citrus is not gonna be very helpful. John, yeah. That's not great. So basically, I get to decide if I want to let him slack off and come back on track, or... Yeah, guess that's what we're doing, so fine. Because if I were him, I'd clearly slack off here. That would be the easy play. Self rocks. Oh, he was content with a sack play. Guess I can do that too. I'm half expecting a John here. I don't believe Hippana can do anything to me but John. Or all, I guess. There it is. This guy is not annoying, that's for sure. So he gets a rock stain for the team for the time being. <laughs> See what he's trying to do. Keeps joining. That's not great. <laughs> that's not what I want to see. He wants me to kill him. That's like that's for sure. Hmm. Right, on the off chance then I got a lot of floaters I don't care about the power of, but all of a sudden John is just such a messy play for me to deal with. He keeps me arms link with just John in, which I honestly I appreciate this. He got me, and he got me good, and I, I can't be mad about it because I really is like the whole scenario of not me being able to make progress at all. Oh damn it! Fine. <laughs> like I said, I'm quite surprised he hasn't uh, made like a slack of play at all. I I don't get it. But with that in mind, I clearly I go for an attacking move here. I I want to spin, but I don't believe it is as benefiting. Solid. Yes. <laughs> I 
We can always fold out though. Let's see what it's nice to do. Withdraws, that's fine. Goes into a not so free setup cloister. My best guess here is that he shell smashes. Or just go directly for an offensive move, which will bring an end to me. Let's see, Thunder Wave helps. Really hope um, he's greedy and shell smashes. Yeah. Or actually, it's not greedy, it's rather, well, whoops for me. Because I do believe. The crippleness will have his speed, and I'm pretty sure Hex takes him out. And consider I don't see a white herb, I have to assume he is, uh, well, or was Focus Sash. Damn, I really hope this cuts more speed than I was thinking. Yeah, nice. I'll take it. <laughs> Cloyster out of the way is huge. Huge. Now is whether or not I can deal with any of the remaining mods properly. Because Heatran is quite annoying if it's an offensive one. I really don't know how to switch into it. I, I happily get Latios crippled, right? Throwing this thinking after all, I like that. Yellow magic team, I'm... I don't know how many games I will show from this particular team, because I have a lot of teams that, thanks to Miss Majors, more Miss Majors, have forfeited because of the set. Um, substitute, Paralyzation and Call Mine seem to um, annoy people quite a lot. There's a Togekiss. Hello, buddy. So we're both are really good at crippling each other, so let's see which type of set this is. Sash, or Sash Scarfed. 6% flinch is not great, I'll take the guys that already. While I can take the hits, I'm not particularly fond of trying to be forced to take them. Um, If I can break through, I clearly are in a very fine position. But if I don't, I lose them on. Which is never good, so... I guess I rely on X. At least the resisted damage give me like more opportunities of maybe kick through. We'll see how that goes for me. I kind of want him to switch out. I really do. I kind of need him to. I like... I like, I like this scenario. I can take I can take the damage, but I can, like, like I said, I, I don't want to take so many flinches. So if you get a bit more lucky, I'm just kind of not going to be able to deal with that. He sure is taking his time. I'm, I'm guessing it's not an easy play to make. I already get it, but at the same time, ooh, you know what? I'll take it. Mine. Death is just another path. I'm getting a feeling my opponent's getting annoyed. Maybe a little bit. 
This Lord Summons here I really can't deal with. But this is one of the few times where I can actually send in my... My Clay Duel to, in theory, sack it or magically wake up. I'll take any. Psychic? Not happening, bro. Actually, that specs, isn't it? Oh, that did a lot. Because I think in theory he only has so many plays versus this, but Gengar should be like the easiest one. Oh, or, or this guy. Alright, if I'm able to wake up, do I rather get the rocks away or get an ice beam out of the way? Let's find out. Already kind of confirmed it's been Scarf, which is kind of a right. I actually have no idea what to do. Like, this Toekiss being Scarf is a far worse opponent than anything I can throw at it. Which makes it dangerous. Grass Knot. I'm just about to say, like, will that do even damage? Oh! Urchin! There we go! I mean, it didn't kill, but... Hell yeah! That's what's up. Or, I wish I spinned. So now he's locked into Grass Snot, which is phenomenal. Does nothing for me, but... Hey, he did it. <laughs> Not too scared about Grass Snot, that's for sure. Biggest nope of your life, buddy. I do recognize that Hippowdon should come in here again, so this is what I do. Did he stay in? Oh, fuck. No, wait. I am faster. I am faster, right? No, I'm not. I am absolutely not. Why? No, <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Hang in there, Belize. Right, Grasna will do nothing. Right, now he gotta switch out, right? I sub here. Don't believe there's anything he can do. Like, I was pretty convinced Hippowden was a sack play. I don't mean to sack play duel and pretty much screw over any type of... Um, Spinning I got left in me. I really was thinking he was putting himself in a situation where he couldn't win So jokes on me <laughs> All right So it's a defensive variant which is Good depending on its damage output. T wave this, of course. Yellow magic. I realize there's a bit of a like a poor But why did it switch to a kiss? Does it, does it have any spinning? I'm pretty sure it's dead, right? Magma Storm. Who connects a magma storm anyway? It's gonna break my sub? Yes, it did. 
Yeah, of course it did. But I'm not caught in Magma Storm, right? No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Subbing again. Ah, uh, I'll happily get him either paralyzed or um, that his magma stool misses. I'll take any flash cannon. Damn it! Is it strong enough to break it? Somehow it is. Ah. The question is, with how much will it, or can it, should it? Alright, go for the Hexen. I did alright. I would have wished for more. Who goes for Magma Storm? <sighs> Damn shame. Actually. The only positive part here is I think I can deal with Gengar. Um, ish. And even if I'm not, I'm still not too worried. Let's find out. Oh, he was speedier. Did not expect that. So he should have been able to hurt me. So maybe it was leftovers but offensive. But you know, I'll, I'll take it. Here's my problem though, I can't do anything versus Latios. But if Gengar comes in, I clearly go for a Thunder Wave. I'm actually getting close, like 3 minutes, so... Unless my opponent has the intention of stalling, which it could or should do to be able to win. Because if not, then I'm still in quite okay position. I wonder. Here it is. The worst word in the English language. Three minutes left. Come on, Riku. Make the play. Got three minutes left to finish this off. Seriously? Brings the Gengar, that's fine. That also means I can't cripple play, I gotta actually go for Psycho Cut. But I have every... Every thought imaginable that my opponent right now is pretty much holding on to not making big plays. Right. Kinda kinda glad for progress. Nice glade. Oh no. <laughs> Not that it matters, but still. Still though, I can't be Lodios with this set. Simply cannot. I do outspeed it, which is kind of a right. But that is as far as it goes. Tokis dies in the switch in. Should never have sacked his mages. Of course I shouldn't. Come on, buddy. I'm actually going to take a little check on the team just to see are there any chance I actually can make progress here? In theory, yes. It's not pretty. I gotta do it. But my opponent is not making plays. I don't get it either. Like, what's the point? What's the point of actually stalling out the last three turns or three minutes? I, I can't comprehend it. I simply cannot. Well, anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching, I'm, I'll take, I take this as a win. If my opponent decides to timer stall over attacking the last remaining minutes, I'll take it as a sign of uh, 
Well, my opponent not being able to beat the team. Simply, simply put, Tokus would air slash flinch all the remaining mons, and both he powered on, and Tokus dies and switch in, so or not he powered on, but it, it definitely won't do anything. So I'll happily take this win. I realize that this psychic could ah <laughs> eat shit. <laughs> Right, make a play, buddy. I'm begging you. All right, thank you for the win. <laughs> Eat shit, Rico. Anyway, as always, take care.